I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what I'm looking for next on Bitcoin. And I'm currently looking for higher in a long trade for $600,000. That is at the moment $24,000 of profit in only three days since I entered this trade off of the bat test of 60,000 psychological. I'll be explaining everything about this trade and what I am looking at next. So I'm gonna pick up right where I left off my last live trading stream for you on YouTube. So that was towards the end of last week where we were looking for a little bit more of a rise to the upside. This was the plan, right? We were originally looking for the drop to get the entry, rise up to the daily. Of course, as we all know, we caught the drop, we got the entry, and we were wa waiting patiently for the rise up to that daily, right? We we're at the time at that range point of control, but the plan was simple. We have our stop loss in place. We're looking for the rise we are along. We all know what happened next. I hope you've been paying attention. We did get the rise to the daily. That was me taking a take profit one on my trade. So I locked in some profits. And in the end, we did get the rejection from the daily value area high zone. Okay, after getting the acceptance back into that value area high, really gave us this rejection viewpoint where we can be looking down once more towards the lower daily. Okay, so really simply how that went in the end was we got the rise to the upper daily value area high. And what happened next? We got the drop to the 60,000 psychological number, which was on that daily support zone. Okay, and really simply that move to the downside is what gave me my re-entry on Bitcoin. So I originally had a long trade, hit take profit one, got stopped on the rest of that trade. And then really simply when I saw the reaction at the daily at psychological $60,000, that for me was a good enough trigger to say, hey, I'm now ready for that next trade. So I did get filled on Friday night as we just simply got the reclaim here. I thought to myself, well, I've got the reaction, I've got a good entry trigger, I've got a good invalidation, I've, I've placed my alerts and ready to get out of that trade if I was wrong. And well, thankfully, it went very nice uh, during the Friday evening, Saturday, Sunday, with continuous rises to the upside, never in any sort of trouble uh, with that trade. And now I am looking for higher next. Okay, so just to summarize that was in the long trade, hit take profit one, got stopped on the rest got my re-entry down and around the daily, and that brings us up to where we are now. So I really hope that does make full sense to you all, as here we are now in coming up to around $25,000 of profit. So what are we looking at next then? Or myself. <laughs> I'm actually thinking that I would like to see this, well, the next daily level that we have above us is sat at $64,255. So we've obviously come down ever so slightly uh, prior to that as we went into uh, early morning, um, 3 a.m. UK time. So for me, there's a few factors that I would be paying attention to now. First of all, I'd be putting this mini kind of fixed range. And you can see we've got a very nice support resistance flip on the value area high. So this old resistance of the value area high now is, well, one would hope going to be flipping into support. OK, so that would be the theory here. We've now broken out. As long as we're maintaining this as support, we really have to be saying there's full probabilities of higher prices to come. OK, next daily up to $65,000, of course. $65,000 being this several levels of confluence, biggest one, daily, um, weekly naked point of control, okay? So that would be the bigger upwards target here locally uh, with the daily just prior to that, okay? Which is at 64,255. Uh, if we are ending up losing this value area high and it flips to resistance, this daily is now tapped. But I just want to show you, actually, I did want to show you this on a lower term time frame, how that daily, how we went actually from really nice, of course, previously resistance, 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 broke above, back tested resistance into support. Just look at the perfection. You know, you, you know, when I talk about perfection in technical analysis, we're talking about to the dollar back tests of resistance into support. It's just lovely to see. And it, it really makes that style of trading just so relaxing. And I, I want to say pretty easy. It was not difficult to see that support resistance flip. But nevertheless, that daily is now tapped. I would have it removed. So if we do get acceptance back into this value area high, of course, we'd be looking back down really towards the point of control then to the value area low once more. And ultimately, it just remains a little bit range bound. But yeah, really simply, while we've got this current breakout, I would naturally, I am long, but I prefer a rise up to our next daily level next. Um, where it starts to, where I would say become weakness shown is if we get acceptance into that value area high. Uh, so, you know, this is like the style of trader that I am. I, I am very patient. I do wait 
for the best trade setups. Okay, so what I class is the best trades where I get Okay, I know my confluence, I get a really nice entry trigger, and I know where my stop loss invalidation would be. As you know, I play with a soft stop loss, so I prefer to place alerts, have the uh, reaction checked, and then make the informed decision. Although with that trade, I did place a hard stop loss. Uh, you know, sometimes, of course, I'm going hard stop loss. Other times, it's soft stop loss. It really depends. A big factor is, am I at the computer? Yes or no? <laughs> that is a major factor. Uh, but nevertheless, that's my game plan. That's what I'm looking for next here on Bitcoin here. We just hit $25,000 of profit. Uh, you know my next uh, targets, what I am looking for, where the weakness comes in, where I would have to lock in a little bit of profits. I like to lock in profits on that weakness, um, you know, just to secure me myself something, because if we see weakness, we can expect a bigger downturn. I don't need to be holding that drawdown. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan. If you want to learn my style of trading, why and how I'm taking these trades, if you want the updates in the Discord, the magic line predictions of exactly what I'm looking for next, this is what you get via Chart Champions. You get the Discord updates, the trading updates, the community, of course, the biggest factor, as always, will be uh, the education and the live trading that we do. So we do live trading streams. Uh, we obviously have daily live streams. And on top of this, of course, we have the whole educational library. So you can actually learn the ins and outs of how we do this, our strategies and exactly, um, you know, what we're using to take our trades. You can learn it yourself. So, yeah, one stop shop chartchampions.com. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've tried to make it simple, short and sweet for you all. Um, yeah, I just wanted to pass on that key information, give you an update of the trades and uh, yeah, what I'm looking at next here. So yeah, cheers everybody. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And if you want more, you know where to get it. Chartchampions.com. Cheers everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.